Hello, today we are going to discuss about 3G architecture. So, the architecture starts with the very first unit, which is UE. Now, this use is user equipment. This user equipment has a 3G supported SIM, which is called as USIM. USIM as universal subscriber identity module so we have ue now this ue is attached with the help of radio part with the ran ran here we call as ut ran which is universal Terrestrial radio access network, which is UT RAN Universal Terrestrial Radio Access Network. Now we have BSS part in 2G. BSS has base station system. In this, we have BTS and BSC. Whereas in 3G, we have Node B. Now this node B is attached to the controller and the controller is R N C where R N C stands for radio network controller R N C as radio network controller that means in spite of BC, BTS now we have node B here in this part and with node B and this one is RNC, radio network controller, which controls the complete node V surrounding it. So here we don't have base station controller, the name is changed with the radio network controller as RNC. Now if we go to the core network, which is this one as core network. Now here in this unit for voice, we have MSC. As in case of GSM, we have studied that MSC has databases like HLR, PLR, EIR, AUC. We have connectivity with PSTN and GMSC. We have intelligent network for billing and we have SMSC, short message service, center number for SMSs. So this is us for voice that means this is a path for voice now for like for data so we have this 3g sgsn which is serving gprs support node we have a ip network we have ggsn as gateway gprs support node this is connected to external network consisting of various databases Other than this, we have a border gateway, we have charging gateway, we have domain name servers attached. So if I see the core network of a 3G itself, so it contains circuit switch network as well as packet switch network. So circuit switch network, this is a circuit switch network. And this is a packet switch network. This is for this path is for data, whereas this path is for voice. Now, from edge network or GPRS network to 3G, we have a major change in the radio part. That means for 3G purpose, we have changed the radio part because the radio access technology here in this case is WCDMA. 3G is working on WCDMA, wideband core division multiple access. Whereas the radio access technique in 2G is TDMA, time division multiple access. So this is the 3G architecture. Thank you so much.